Good morning, everybody. Uniquely Lady Charlotte here, and I am up early this morning because I got a few things to do. <clears throat> this pollen has put a little frog in my throat. Sound a little deep this morning. Um. Anyway, I got a lot to do. You ever just woke up and just realized I got a lot of stuff to do? You want to have an easy going weekend. You want to relax. Beautification weekend. This this isn't beautification weekend for me. It should be. It really should be. But I guess I have to do that next weekend. Um, so, but today, Sunday, I worked yesterday till about 2 o'clock. But today, I have a lot to do. I have to, um, well, I'm getting ready to get my mom some water. Three cases of water. So I'll go ahead and knock that out and get that out of the way. And then I need to um, go visit my oldest daughter today. Uniquely Lady Candy Cane. She just bought a new house. And it's beautiful 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 from the pictures I've never seen it so I'm excited to see it very excited to see it especially since there's a room that I and Scotty can stay in when we go visit um let's see the next thing oh I need to do my hair I need to um I have a lace front on so I need to go ahead and tighten that puppy back up can't be out here looking any kind of way older woman gotta represent oh older woman i'll be 53 this year guys 53 but i thank god for letting me see it because a lot of people didn't wake up to see 50 so um anyway what else i got i gotta do my nails which really just consists of taking polish on off and putting polish on but this time my goal is to put the polish on before i start having cocktails weekend cocktails for some reason i can't get that polish on when i had those weekend cocktails I think I got control of the nail brush, but the proof is in the pudding the next morning, and I do not. My granddaughter, Wookie Mom, she paints her freaking nails better than me. And for some reason, when I'm having cocktails, that's when I want to pick out the weirdest, most wild color around. Electric blue. Rotten green. Anything. Band-Aid beige. I don't. Nails before I start having weekend cocktails. And the biggest thing I'm going to do today, which I've never done before, is I'm going to um, be making a tomahawk steak. My mama, uniquely lady mama, bought me a tomahawk steak. She bought my sister one too, and she bought me one. And when I tell you this thing looked like the brontosaurus burger steak thing on uh, Fred Flintstone, that thing got a bone on it that's about that bone probably about five or six inches. It might be longer than that. But, um, and then it's got this nice fat cap on it. It's marbled real pretty. She beat it down for me. She beat it, tenderized it, and uh, told me what to do. Told me to go in there and cut that silver cap off, that silver skin off, so you can't eat that. See, I'm not a big steak eater, but when I tasted my sister's, oh, I became a steak eater again. So, um... So I, I got the fat cap off, not all of it, just some of it, and I um, cut that silvery skin off, and I marinated it in some um, some seasonings. I know I've been looking at tomahawk recipes most of the night, but I want to do it right, because it's a very expensive piece of meat, so I want to do it right. Um, so I put my little seasonings on it, and Mama, she did um, onions and green onions on it, chopped them up real nice and put them on the steak so that flavor can permeate the meat. Hell, just smelling the bag. I want to eat the raw onions, and I'm not that type of person, but just, I don't know. I think just because my mama touched it. Just because my mama chopped them onions up. I was ready to have a bowl of onions. It's just because she put her love on it. You could tell by the circles and, and how she cut it that she cut it with love. She didn't rush. You know, when you cook, you're supposed to cook with love. Young girls don't know nothing about that cooking with love. Y'all just cook to get it done. Older women, more experienced women, we cook with love. That's what make it tender. And that steak my mama made, had my sister make, or she helped my sister make it, her tomahawk steak, that thing was so tender, you could have cut it with a toddler's finger. A toddler finger, a little bony, little two-year-old finger could have cut that steak. That steak, I'm thinking about it now. That steak was good. Juicy? Oh. Anyway, 
going back to mine. So right now, I smell like a tomahawk steak. I smell like a piece of steak because I got in there this morning and I um, got in there and, and tenderized it a little bit more. Let it marinate the seasonings I put on it. I'll tell y'all the seasonings I put on it when uh, I go in there and, and uh, get to mess with it when I get back. I um, So now it's laying out and it's resting at room temperature. It don't even hardly fit on the plate. So it's hanging off the plate, one of my biggest plates. And uh, it's resting at room temperature, so I'll probably leave it out for about an hour or so, maybe a little more than an hour, while I do some other things, you know, um, like get the water. Then I got to take Kristen, unique lady, Shin Shin, got to take her. That's the one that broke her ankle. She don't be back. She's still in her boot. At least she got the cast, but she's still in her boot. So I got to take her to get her nails done at the salon while I sit in the car and try to do some of my work from work. I got some reports I need to write. So I'll use that time to tidy up my reports and to review some Cheer Wine Festival information. Got a meeting about that tomorrow. So I got a busy day. And my daughter's new house, that's in South Carolina. I gotta drive to South Carolina to see that. And then I wanna be home by, by a decent hour today. I wanna be home, it ain't gonna happen. I wanna be home by five o'clock. I want to be home by five o'clock so I can have the rest of the evening to just to just relax and just get wrap my mind around going to work tomorrow wrap my mind around what I need to do I had to do payroll yesterday I got to go back over payroll in the morning before my director gets there just to make sure things are right I'm tired I ain't even got started good. and then I got to clean up you know you got to clean up I like to start my work week with a clean house with a nice clean house. Oh, and I got to replace my blinds. My grandchildren broke. One of them broke it. One of them broke it. But ain't nobody said nothing. I asked, ain't nobody said nothing. They just looking at me blinking. That was probably the safest thing for them to do, just to look at me blinking, because I was mad when I asked about it. That was probably the safest thing to do. Just don't say nothing. Just blink. So, you know how people peek out the blinds, the little plastic blind. My blinds are cheap. They came with the apartment. You peek out the side, and then you done pop two of the, two of the uh, slats. Well, I'll get them today. Try to eyeball it. I don't know what the standard measurement is for windows, apartment windows. So I'm going to just try to guess and get some. Got to get some long enough so Mr. Scary Rogers don't stand outside and, and be peeking and looking under under my blinds. And on top of that, the blinds that the apartment complex give us, I know y'all wonder what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the traffic light. The apartment, I mean, the blinds the apartment complex give us, they're so paper thin, I don't think my neighbors know you can see through them at night. You can see through them at night. So, but I got them though. I found that out when I first got there. I got up, uh, um, I got up my little paper thin blinds that you can see through. Then I got up my paper shades that I got from Family Dollar, the peel and stick blinds, and mocha can't see through them because they um they block out light and then i got a curtain on top of that i don't play got that curtain from my grandma i mean when i say that curtain from my grandma i'm talking about she always had a pair of curtains up you ain't never too old for curtains uh, that's nice y'all like to let the world see what y'all got in y'all house and everything but i grew up in the country i grew up old school and i'm gonna have me some curtains i don't care how, how nice my blinds is i'm gonna have some curtains so, um, let's see, I cleaned up, I cleaned up last night, I cleaned up best doing cocktail out, it made me not care so much, and I got, get so frustrated, because my grandkids and my daughter just left, they stayed over to the house for two weeks, until her house came through, closing and all of that, but I enjoyed my grandkids at the house, y'all saw them from the last video, I did enjoy them, they did lobsters, but... That's most teenagers until, until you start guiding them in the direction they should go. But they were very helpful, you know, when I asked them to do something. My grandkids aren't bad. You know, y'all know some people saying, kids aren't bad, they're just misguided. No, y'all know them bad grandkids. Y'all know y'all, some of y'all got some bad grandkids. I was a bad kid, so I can say it. I got my street cred. I was a bad kid. But God turned me around. Still working on me. But um, my kids, my grandkids ain't bad. They green. They're very green. They didn't even know what feet no was. 
That's cause you know their mama try to raise them up in a good environment and stuff. But I'm gonna have to sneak in some hardcore truth. I'm gonna have, and I tell them my stories about my life. Them stories I tell y'all, I tell my grandkids because this world gonna chew them up, and spit them out if if they're not if they're not prepared. And I think it's my job as a grandmother to prepare them, give them advice, and you know the grandmotherly stuff. Tell them about my experiences. Yeah, it may turn their stomach sometime, but I'm very real with my grandchildren. I was very real with my children, and my children turned out to be great. So when they recognize the situation, like, uh oh, this is heading in that direction. My mom was telling me that happened to her. Boom, you can turn around. You can make a better choice. So I'm going to do the same thing for my grandkids. I'm still in my right mind. Okay, well. Oh, I don't know if y'all know I got new glasses. I had to take the other ones back. I got them from iLab. I took, I got my first glasses from there. This same frames, but I couldn't see nothing. It was like the floor. These are progressives. The floor was up here. Uh, and that's how close the floor looked to me. And I was stepping wide. I couldn't drive good, and I couldn't drive really good at all. Running over curbs. My my judgment was off. It was just crazy. So I wouldn't wear the glasses. I'm like, I just paid all this money for glasses. And I can't even use them. So I saw a lady in the grocery store one day, and I ran into her cart with my cart. And uh, I said, I'm so sorry. I said, I just got new glasses. I'm trying to get used to them. And she said, where'd you get it from? And I told her, I laughed. She said, oh. She said, how long have you had them? I said, about two weeks. She said, oh, take them back and tell them you can't see. Maybe the prescription is wrong. I said, you think they'll take them back? It's been two weeks. She said, they probably will. So that's what I did. I went to... um. I went back to iLab, explained it to them, the one in Salisbury, explained it to, to them what I was happening, and that fast. They took care of my glasses, I left them. They were still covered by the warranty. And I left them there, and then I had my glasses probably just a little over a week later. And now I can see I need glasses. Look at me get in this lane. Look at me use my signal light. I can get over there. See? Didn't wreck nobody. Still in my lane. But um, they were, it was a really nice store. That was very, very nice. They got me taken care of pretty quick, too. Oh, that's a Maserati. I'm going to go fast so I can catch up with it. Uh, what requires a lot of effort in my Nissan Versa looks to be effortless for the Maserati. So I think, okay, babe, I'm going to come up off of you. I'm going to come up off your throat. We can't do it. They just cut through traffic like a hot knife through butter. But I got to knuckle down on my wheel and, 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 you know, feed her gently. Give her this gas gently. Can't choke the baby. Got to give my baby a milk slowly. All right, guys. So I'm going to go. But I will get back with you when it's time for me to cook the Tommy Hawk steak. I'm going to try my best to record and show you everything that I'm doing. Do everything my mama told me to do. And um, it smells wonderful already. It smells wonderful. Right now, if a dog walk past me, they be trying to lick on me. Cause I smell that good, season wise, season wise. I smell like garlic and seasonings and onions. I know you're not supposed to smell like that, but I shoot, I want to lick my own hand. Anyway, I'm gonna go, but I'll get up with y'all in a little bit, okay? And um, when I go to Candace's house, I probably won't show y'all her house because she's still got some things she's trying to fix up, and so I'll wait until she, you know, allows me to. I'll do the inside tour of the house. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, y'all may be wondering where Hot Scotty is. He's not riding shotgun. He's enjoying his Sunday. Oh, they're relaxing. Stayed up all night watching the game. Um, Carolina is out. And Duke is moving forward. I had a tough, tough time trying to choose because I like them both. I like them both. So, I had a tough time choosing. I'm just happy North Carolina in the running. Coach K, this was his last game, and he's going into retirement. He was a good guy, good coach. So I'm um, happy for him, he, happy for his team, and um, hope you enjoy his retirement. All right, I'm going for real this time, y'all. Got to get over here and get this case, this three cases of water for my mama. I'm trying to get a drink, spring water, and not purified water. But I can't talk because I drink it too. Scotty will not drink purified water. But all the spring water get going so fast. Okay, talk to you guys a little bit. We'll do this date together. All right, bye.